I thought you hated Stefan. Yeah, I do. In fact, they have a whole elaborate revenge scheme against him, but unfortunately, in order to truly hurt someone, they have to care. So you want Stefan's humanity back? So that is Michael Malarkey's character, Enzo, kind of a bad boy, stirred up a lot of trouble on The Vampire Diaries. You should see what he's doing here on the set this morning. <laughs> Just joking. Fans love it. Ah! When <laughs> he is not playing the mysterious vampire on the show, the CW show, he is writing and singing music, and you may not know that part, so we'd like to introduce you to that part of his personality this morning as well. Thank you for being up early, first of all. I know that's never easy for... People are not up early. Hey, but we you have, have 5 a.m. calls sometimes, so <laughs> this ain't too bad. Right, and you have a young one who I gets do. you up anyway, yes? Yep, he's teething okay. like Enzo. Gotcha. So um, when your character uh, has done, is it two seasons and now you're going into the third one? Yes, okay. I started in season five. We just finished, uh, well, we're finishing season six this week. And, um, yeah, going into season seven. Can you drop any hints for the fans of The Vampire Diaries about what we might be seeing in the future between Enzo, uh, the bromance? What's the other character? Damon. Okay, yes, yeah. yes. Well, basically, um, there's a big flashback episode uh, for Enzo this Thursday. And um, you're going to see an unlikely connection that he has with um, the Salvatore mother. So um, there's some cool stuff coming up. The flashback episode's pretty amazing. Had a great time shooting it. So. How did you not get a big head when you were killed off the Vampire Diaries and then they brought your character back? I mean, that's, that's some pretty good pull with your fans there, buddy. <laughs> I'm in, uh, exceedingly neurotic, so um, I don't think I have the potential to have a big head. <laughs> I always think that I've done something wrong. <laughs> and, now, on the side, um, I'll say on the side, but you, you say that your true passion is music and that you are also a singer-songwriter with an album. You're out touring with this music as well. Mm -hmm. So when you're um, doing your songwriting, what is the hardest part for you? Um, I absolutely love songwriting, and I, I don't ever try to write when I'm not feeling it, you know. So I find it easy when I actually have the inspiration. So I just kind of go into my den and start working, and I love it. When you first started writing, were you okay with people kind of um, hearing your inner thoughts? Because it's very private. It, it could be like a diary writing. No, I, I mean, it, you know, there was an aspect of that when I first started playing. I was like, man, people are kind of getting to know what I'm feeling about things and love and philosophy and all that stuff. But now it's like, you know what? I'm comfortable with how I feel about all that stuff. And I think people can connect with 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 that kind of um, sincerity. So let me hear this really fast. This is the video that you made for um, the title song, correct? Off of the album. It's funny to me in your voice, it's a, you, you have a wonderful voice. Not a bad guitar player. I know that you say you are not some guitar aficionado. However, I do hear a little influence of Elvis, whom you have played on stage. That's correct, yeah. I played Elvis in the West End in London for a year. And that was part of the reason why I actually started playing music again. You know, it kind of gave me the confidence playing in a theater of 1,000 people, you know, loads yeah. of sold out shows. And I was completely underconfident that I wouldn't, you know, I didn't think I got that role at all. But yeah. seven rounds of auditions, finally got it. And I was like, really? Okay. Give it a go. And, um, yeah, <laughs> well, we from Ohio plays Elvis. Yeah. I love it. I well, love you it. know, I was in London as well, so there was a smaller pool of American actors, so my chances were greater. You're a modest man. Okay, now, the, the viewers have asked questions, okay? Okay. So um, this fan says, please ask him if we're going to see more of Damon and Enzo, the bromance. You kind of answered that. Um, I want to ask this question. Your Feed the Flames album was nothing short of amazing. Will we hear a sequel soon? I guess they've already devoured that album. Yes, um, I am actually playing to record here in Atlanta um, at the beginning of May. So I'm going to do another EP. It's going to be a lot more focused. All the new stuff that I've been working on kind of has a clearer uh, mission statement. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting that underway. What are you going to do if you ever have to choose between music and the show? Well, acting. Oh, acting what if his bosses main, are watching? Uh, no, acting is my main passion. So I, I, I will always be pursuing that relentlessly. Music is something that I kind of have on the side, and it's my, my little baby, you know. Yeah. And, and I like for it to be something I can go to when, when I have some downtime. 
Delightful. Delightful. So where can people get the album if they have not yet? I would imagine they can do downloading. Yeah, you check can it check out it right out now. On iTunes, you can check it out on Spotify, uh, Google Play, all that jazz. You know, I don't know all the things that people use nowadays. <laughs> CD Baby, but... whatever it may be. Yes, yeah, exactly. Is that one? CD Baby? I think it is, but I think that may be more hard copies okay. than the yeah. downloading. I'm not sure. No, it's on vinyl and digital only. Do you know anything about Periscope? Nothing. Okay. Except what I've just been All right. told. So that's what they're going to do to you right after you leave here. Do to me. Yes, they are going to periscope you, okay. which means you at home can watch that live as well. Um, yeah, it almost sounds like some type of operation. Maybe However, off it's not. Space or something. <laughs> Exactly. Right. So if you want to see the Periscope, that happens next. Michael, thank you so much. Appreciate it. My pleasure. All right. Nice to meet Best you. Best of luck with both thank things you very that much. you like to do very much. Thank All you, right. Annie.